Hi, welcome to Accessorize Your Life, where aging gracefully and accessorizing your life meet. I am Julia. Today I have an exciting video. It was created by um, also Neo and Lux for Parrots, and I am subscribed to both of their channels. I don't know if they know who I am or not, but Style for Life does, and her name is Andrea, and she... Um, asked me to go ahead and be a part of this video. So I'm excited about that. Um, this video is called Top 3 Plus 1 Regret of 2020. And I have some for you. Okay, so if you'd like to see what I chose for this video, keep watching. Alrighty guys, so my purchases for 2020 were pretty, pretty spot on. I mean, I'm happy with everything, I think. But what are my loves? What are my top three. Let's get into it. The first one would have to be this lovely bag. Let me take some of the stuffing out of it. I made this purchase from Coach and it is the lovely shadow bag. I don't know if you saw this video on the bag, uh, on this bag, but hey, I loved it from the moment I saw it and I have had the opportunity to carry it once. It is a very, very nice handbag. You can fit a ton load of stuff in here. As a matter of fact, I carried it to work because I had a funeral to attend after work. So what I did is I packed in all my accessories I needed to change into and toiletries and uh, carried it as a bag as well to the funeral. So it is quite heavy on its own, but it's worth every penny. I love the material inside of it. It comes with a shoulder strap. It has pockets galore all over the bag. So yeah, this was a wonderful purchase for 2020. It I consider it a luxury bag from Coach. I was fortunate to get it at a little uh, discount of a price because I got it from the outlet. So it is not, it wasn't one of their um, current top bags when I purchased it. And, uh, but hey, it's a top bag to me. Okay, my second purchase for 2020 that I absolutely love is again from Coach and it is this wonderful bag here. It is the Rogue and I have it in the chalk and it has the oxblood handles. This bag, I sat on the fence about the Rogues for so long because it just seemed too slouchy. Mm -mm. Beautiful. I mean, this is a luxurious bag. I again got this from the outlet uh, at a decent price. It came, it comes, I'm sorry, I'm sorry with two uh, handles that you can make into a shoulder strap. It has two handles here that you can carry it by. Again, well-made bags, lots of places to store things, a middle section here, as well as two outer sections. I love the hang tags on both of these bags and um, they just show well, they carry well, they feel well. It is an abundance of leather and uh, just well-crafted handbags. I am really in love with both of those purchases. I don't think, if you see any of these bags, you can't go wrong by purchasing them. Um, this one is much bigger than the Rogue, so if you're not into bigger, heavier bags, you may want to try the Rogue. But both of them are gorgeous, and I love them. My third top product for 2020, I purchased from Netta Porter. It came packed so lovely with a ribbon on it that I just haven't been able to throw the box away or the ribbon, and I don't, don't think I should. Would you? <laughs> So let's open it up, wrapped impeccably, nice, all the black tissue paper, I've kept it as well in this beautiful box. Let's put it down and I will open it for you. It is from Christian Louis Bouton and here it is. A gorgeous, gorgeous amulet that is filled with lipstick. I will open it up. 
I think every woman needs to experience something like this. Take it out of the box. Beautiful box it came in, which I will keep as well. And here it is. You could, I guess, wear it here if you wanted to. Or you can just hold on to it with the ribbon. I have it in a velvet matte formula. You open it, you just pull it apart to open, and there is the cap, and inside the cap is that beautiful red. So like I said, I have it in the velvet matte formula, and I have a neutral or a nude color. I thought that was the safest way to go. When you spend money like that on a lipstick, you don't want to get a color that you're not going to wear and you want a color that you can get a lot of wear out of. So this is in the color Zulu and I am wearing it now. I'll put a little more on so you can see it. Hope you can see it. I don't feel like I need a lip liner with this. I think it's perfect to wear on its own. It is a little drying but it is a matte lipstick by the way. Um, you just have to moisturize or use a lip mask at night. It's not extremely dry though, but I love a good matte and I love a great neutral. So this was my third purchase for 2020 that I love. It's my top three. And it called this video called for one regret. Yes, I've made some purchases that I probably um, thought, mm, but they were in makeup or other things. But the top one, the one that um, I thought maybe I should not have purchased it, was this bag. Again, from Coach. I only purchased it because I thought the smaller one was going to be too small. In actuality, this is perfect for me. So I have decided to keep it and it is not a regret. So therefore, I do not have any regrets for 2020. I have kept everything that I purchased, that I loved. Or if I haven't um, kept something, it wasn't in the luxury classification. So I hope you like my three top picks and um, my not so one pick because I actually love it too. Thank you for watching. I hope you will um, watch the other ladies uh, and what they chose for this video. And um, I might link some people down below to join in this um, video. So I hope you choose to do so. Thank you for watching. Have a great day. Bye bye.